it was at four o'clock in the morning, I can tell you, on the 24th of February 2022, that uh, you called me, Vladimir, to say that the incredible had actually happened and in insanity had, had broken out and that Russian tanks were surging across the frontier of a sovereign, independent country in Europe. And as the Russians launched their lightning assault on Kiev, you knew, Vladimir, that you were top of their target list. You chose to stay in Kiev among the Ukrainian people, just as Churchill stayed in London in 1940. And when one world leader offered you a way out, you replied, I need ammunition, not a ride. And I think Churchill would have cheered and probably would have wept too, because he was often moved to tears at the sheer courage, the moral, physical courage you showed in those grim weeks. And the global wave of solidarity for Ukraine was in large measure generated by your own personal articulation of the cause. Your defiance, your dignity, your unfailing good humour has moved millions. And as you stand against barbarism, you've become a symbol of the heroism of the Ukrainian people. You've understood that you're not yourself the lion. The Ukrainian people, of course, are the lion. But you have been called upon to give the roar, the roar of freedom against tyranny, of good against evil, of light against darkness. And you have delivered that roar magnificently. That's why it has been such a huge stroke of good fortune that you should have been in office at this time of crisis for Ukraine and the world. And inspired by your leadership, I know not just that Ukraine can win, but the Ukraine will win. Thank you, Volodymyr, for everything that you have done. Slava Ukraini and uh, Slava Ukraini and our, 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 physical, our physical separation notwithstanding, it gives me great pleasure, Volodymyr, to present you with this award, if you can see it, which I hope you can. There you go. Democracies of the world can stop any tyranny, any evil that uh, puts our freedom in jeopardy. And only the, the leadership of the international world should suffice to do so. And we should have it our patience as well, the patience on the way to freedom. No one knows how much time and efforts it will take to achieve that uh, victory. But the victory is worthwhile to pursue this path and this will become our joint history as prominent as it was during Churchill times and will be quoted just like he was quoted. I, I would like to thank you. Thank you for this award, for the award to the people of Ukraine. Glory to Ukraine. Hey, thank you. Well done. Thank you, Vladimir. Okay, great job, everybody. Thank you. Thanks, Vladimir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Vladimir.